Goo Fighters by John Paritano. Firefighters in Florida have discovered a way to turn the polymers and disposable diapers into a barricade against fire. In 1998, Jim and Demi, Debbie Hodges moved into their dream house in a quiet wooded neighborhood in Palm Coast, Florida. But their dreams almost went up in smoke that year during the 4th of July weekend. That's when a wildfire roared through their new neighborhood. The wildfire, one of many in Florida that summer, destroyed 200 buildings and blackened a half million acres. It moved so quickly that firefighters forced the couple to leave the area at once. Their mutt, Elvis, hid from the flames in his doghouse. The Hodgeses returned to their dream house the next day, expecting to find it in ruins and Elvis dead. They were amazed at what they saw instead. And among the scorched trees and smoking ashes, their house stood virtually untouched by the blaze. As for Elvis, he made it. He's still alive. Elvis is alive, Debbie Hodges said. What spared Elvis and his house owners? Just before the flames engulfed the neighborhood, firefighters slimed the house and doghouse with a chemical compound found in disposable baby diapers. The sticky, gel-like substance protected everything it covered in a cocoon of fire-resistant ooze. That gel is the best invention since the fire truck, Jim Hodges said. Superabsorbent Polymer. The idea for that invention came seven years ago, when John Bartlett, a firefighter in Florida's Palm County, was cleaning up after a routine trash fire. As he picked through the debris, he noticed something that hadn't burned. That something was a wet disposable diaper. Why didn't the diaper turn to ashes? Bartlett investigated. He found that the main ingredient in disposable diapers is a superabsorbent polymer called sodium polyacrylate. A polymer is a chemical compound that forms as a long, sometimes branched, chain of molecules. Each link in its structure is an individual molecule called a monomer. Polymers occur naturally, as in cotton, wool, and rubber. Materials made of synthetic or artificial polymers include vinyl, nylon, and neoprene. Bartlett also learned that sodium polyacrylate acts like a tiny superabsorbent sponge, soaking up to 800 times its weight in water. When the baby wet the diaper before the trash fire, the sodium polyacrylate in the diaper soaked up so much moisture that the flames could not burn through. A light bulb went on in Bartlett's head. Why not, he wondered, spray sodium polyacrylate onto a house to build a barrier that flames cannot penetrate. He tested combinations of sodium polyacrylate, water, and other chemicals to make a sticky gel. Working with his father and another firefighter, Bruce Hill, for a period of five years, Bartlett finally created Barricade, the slime firefighters spewed on Jim and Debbie Hodges' house. Barricade, or diaper goo as some firefighters call it, can fend off flames for up to 30 hours. What we've, dis what we've developed is sticky water, Hill told Current Science. Water stuck on a wall. Barricade doesn't start as sticky water. Sodium polyacrylate is a powder. Firefighters mix that powder at the scene of a fire with water in a process called hydration. During that process, sodium polyacrylate encases millions of tiny water droplets in a bubble-like shell. The shell is very sticky and has the consistency of warm maple syrup. Firefighters spray the diaper goo on a structure with a hose. Firefighters can use the gel to protect a building before a fire or to put out a blaze. The gel sticks to wood, metal, brick, asphalt, plastic, glass, and most other building materials. It's like sticking water on a wall, Bartlett said. Think of the polymers as sponges. By using barricade gel, we're basically wetting millions of sponges and throwing them one on top of another against a wall or whatever it is we don't want to burn. Natural decay. Hill said that once a fire has been put out, barricade can be washed away with water. The gel is biodegradable. It breaks down into harmless substances. It is non-toxic and safe for the environment. Barricade has scored a number of successes during the short time it has been used. The gel saved 20 homes in Florida in 1998 and a paper mill in Slave Lake, Alberta, Canada that same year. It's relatively inexpensive too. It takes three to five gallons of barricade to protect one house at an average cost of $60 per application, said Hill. One coating of gel remains active for up to six days, depending on wind, humidity, 
the amount of water vapor in the air and other weather conditions. Quantum leap. In areas prone to wildfires, barricade has caught on like, well, wildfire. All firefighters in Los Angeles carry diaper goo in their trucks. Homeowners can even purchase do-it-yourself spray kits of barricade. Bill Kramer, a former fire chief who teaches fire science at the University of Cincinnati, calls the gel a quantum leap in firefighting because the goo can save lives as well as property. Said one firefighter, if it's safe enough for a baby's bottom, it's safe enough for us. Elvis and his owners would certainly agree.